We have some tornado warnings down here. Wow. Yeah, pretty crazy. Crazy stuff. It's cloudy where I'm at. <laughs> but that's about it. Forecast said it's supposed to be 100 degrees though. What is it? <laughs> ah, more. So, um, <laughs> are or in indigo? Yes. What kind? Of, what's your? Uh, what's your? How did your DPS roll? Are you better with AOE or single? What are you thinking? Uh, AOE is pretty strong, but my single revolves around crystal frag. So, AOE I just use this and this, and then force pulse, and the force pulse does a, an AOE depending if they have a uh, elemental debuff on them. How about you? Well, I can move it around a bit. Either way. Um, I think I'm gonna go mainly single then. A little bit. But. Um, are you ready there? Four, you think? Or just, uh, you do have, like, footmen and... You do have tanky armor on, though, right? You said you tank most bats. Cool. Tough as now. One sec. Pouring water for tea. Alright, so... This is normal. Um, tour, but most of the mechanics are the same as vet, except things get blown out of the water a little more in vet. Until yeah. you get to later on, anyway. So the last few rounds are a little different in vet mode than here. But the object is to try to not die too much, because we all have to live through the rounds. First there's the trash round, and then there's the boss round. So, if you die during the boss round, you'll warp back in and do the boss round again. We have unlimited lives here, um, so you gotta kind of watch how things do damage, you gotta try to pick up things or chains, we'll do a huge number in here. You probably haven't used them much in uh, vet dungeons, I don't know your playstyle, maybe you have, but uh, you'll notice a little archer will walk up to the side or something. I think in this first phase you have, uh, the mages might do the most. The first stage is pretty easy, but uh, anyways you just chain in the mage, we try to AOE him down for the most part. And you'll notice if you start this in vet DSA, all of a sudden those mages with the AOE can one-shot people. So you really gotta try to either chain them in quick or watch what you do, right? <laughs> yep, there'll be a lot of moving targets. Um, at least during, yeah, most of the stages will be a lot of moving targets, so it's never just, it's not usually just you tanking one guy. You'll be trying to hold several at a time anyways. Oh, you'll see. If you have any questions, man, just type her out. You, you ready to go in? Ready. Likewise. Open the gate, and let the Guar know that fresh meat will be available shortly. New challenges! Will they survive the competition? Or will their blood decorate the floor of our grand arena? Ready or not, the battle is about to begin! Metal. For those of you who bet gold on the newcomers, you have my what sympathy. Looks like you're wearing Let loose the combatants! It's this the is the Dragon Star oh. Arena, and the games have begun! And now, 
A round of applause for those proud undead destroyers, the Fighters Guild. Can the newcomers stand against them? I can't wait to find out, can you? So, um, for the most part, you generally stay around the middle, and in that, you tend to go around the middle of the circle. Uh, most of the big stuff, like the boss, always pops up near the gate in these.
Tor, there's a little guy you can uh, repair your gear on here too. It's about to get cold in here. Do try not to soil anything during this battle. To advance, you must defeat the champions of this arena. Nords from the coldest region of Skyrim. They love the thrill of battle, the conquest of their enemies, and the taste of me. But not necessarily that.
So there'll be two bosses that pop out here. Um, you want to tank the melee one? We'll try to phone the mage. I was trying to get out there and get him, but I ran out of stamina and got stunned. Yeah, those archers are in the boat. There's going to be poison guys. that pops up in the middle, which is a big definitely circle take out that hatred giving the whole you, circumference of the, the middle, and the poison on each of the corners. Fight. Their magic is it will strange. instantly Their ways kill. Are strange. But I love the amount of harm they can do. Enough with the current. Let's get this battle started.
this is... This is awesome. What's behind? What's in middle? Was, oh my gosh. Jeez, Indigo, your bolt does a lot of damage. I know. It's great. It's like 20k. There's more fun waiting for you in the next arena. Throw the rounds, the melee guys come out, they last the other side from you, and then they sit there the land of spinning the a blade around. It doesn't do you any good to stand the them or us. We can Don't kill them, them but they are a little tougher you. than normal. Here you can we'll probably just mow them, but Let's get this I think the only ones that really do damage here are the mages. Let's but. shout huzzah for the champions of House Drez. Such grace, yeah, such but. agility. Think of the pain they're about to inflate. Oh, magnificent.
shot is here. There's like the last bar.
only way to change a slaver's mind is to drive a sword through it. <laughs> That's another victory for the newcomers. So, examine the tiles. Figure out how they work. If we don't, you don't have a lot of time, and I don't want you to say curse us, and we'll have to run and to a glowing one of the fun these pedestals. And now, direct from Craglorn's distant past, allow me to introduce the Ankara. They might be sad, but that doesn't mean they won't stab you in the face.
Okay. Get him up. Looks like I'm tanking right now, though. Looks like it. Uh oh. No worries, man. I think I sold one of those for like 6k one time. I bet they're still not 6k. I know. It's a popular set though. Yeah. Alright, so let's do Tazzy Archers. We pop in kind of like the shadow casters, and what happens is their dark kills everybody's health, or their mana and stamina. 
My chest has been silenced, so that I may congratulate you personally on making this fall. From this so ideally, you, you want the archers to die quick. And if you see a green charged arrow come at you, or if you see him charging and you think he's going to shoot it at you, you roll off. honor of becoming my oh. champions. The next challenges will okay. test you in ways you have never imagined. Even you will want to do it there, Thor, because otherwise you'll have no stand to pick up uh, aggro on guys. Continue to impress me, then back. I shall allow you to silence that fool of a champion who loves the sound of his own voice. I'd be insulted, but I do love the sound of my own voice. Before you can face me, all arenas await you. These tiny wood holes, for example, they form the nicest partnership for you. One of those things. Ah, ah yes. Werewolves. I'm hurt.
I know in trials and stuff, you'll probably res right in your spot, but on these, you usually res that way shrine. That way, you can uh, go to the repair and take a second if you need it. Stop in here. So. It's okay. We don't mind being squishy. Well, that was unfortunate. Let's try this again. And do remember that people are watching. Okay, let's see how far we can go here. Sorry about that, she was stuck on loading screen, had to restart. No worries. Perhaps you should... I see you. Hopefully you're... The Fighters Guild team does a wonderful... Tor? Um, Can you get in here, Tor? You might not see the portal. It's right in the middle of the room. Big shiny light. There you go.
Let's try this again. And do remember that people are watching. Big show. Big show? The thanks show. He sent me some mail. Oh. Indigo, what side? Um, I'll be west side. Alright. And so, your no, journey we'll takes down. you into the depths of my master's yeah. domain. Her most beloved worshippers reside here, including her favorite champions. Those who would gladly sacrifice themselves to become something more. And when I say sacrifice, I mean that in the literal sense. It's amazing what powers one can acquire when you give yourself to a Daedric Prince. Just wait. You'll soon see what I'm talking about. It'll be glorious, I promise. Without further ado, here come the Daedra. Powerful in their own right, and quite eager to give themselves to our master. You might want to stop that from happening. Yes.
hands up. Believe it or not, Thor, more of the uh, all guys do more damage than the, the probably guy. Turn mage first. Oh, really? You do it that way? I don't know. I'm asking. Uh, Let's play. Bad Nova, and there's a sacrifice. The uh, oh. pretty good. So it's good to have the master in the tank. Keep the master. Don't worry about the mage. Get the. Nice thing to do. He does like the game. 
just step through the gate and go to the next arena already. One sec, guys, before you start it. Stand in the same place and won't activate it. Four. Okay, so, or you hear me? Hey, Tor. Hmm, I get this funny feel and he can't hear me. combat log up. For some reason it wouldn't let me switch back. I kind of knew it was combat log in. Um, yeah, I didn't see a type, so I had a bunch of data. Um, anyways, on this one, you have some big mechanical giants. Well, the big mechanical giants don't do a whole lot of damage. Usually there's, uh, a blue one, a red one, and a yellow one. The, uh, blue one... Oh, well, okay, that's the yellow. And... You try to burn down the blue one first, 
because they do an ice. They put ice on people and slow them down. In vet mode, you have ice and fire. They have to stack. And here you don't. But the guys who actually do the damage are the mages, believe it or not. And then the boss later on. The mages and the spheres. They're these little mini robots. They kind of have, have a round wheel that they spin off of. Those guys do a lot. They have a ground damage thing that strikes for a lot. The mages, well, yeah, if you hit your, they're rolling um, ice or fire. They do a lot. Their AOE does quite a bit, but probably not, not much to you. But basically, you'll be tanking the big guys around in the circle. While me and uh, Nigo try to, Indigo try to, uh, Inigo try to bomb right. the other guys. Is it Inigo? Yeah, like from that book or the movie Princess Bride. That uh, that guy. But yeah, it's Inigo, like. All right, sorry, man. No worries. I'm horrible with names. All Me right. too. Anyways, sorry. All right, well, that's the whole spiel here anyways. Um, there'll be two phases of the robots and then the boss. Then there'll be two phases of robots. Usually the first phase of robots on the boss, you uh, kill the robots. The second phase, you just burn the boss. Um, pro aggro, make sure you try to keep aggro on the bots. The mages don't really matter. You can kind of dislodge them if you want, but for the most part, I'd probably... I'd probably just try to make it so the mages aren't shooting at us too much, but I don't think there's a whole lot you can do there. Try not to get killed by the, uh, the little mechanical bots that come out, so... Because they can... they can finish you off. Same with the mages if you run over too much of their ice. Aggro though, just concentrate on the big mechanos. Sorry, Inigo. Inigo. Oh, I can't see it. All right, man. Don't worry just, about it. I'm just trying to get my. Uh, I was switching some talents around, so it got kind of bugged up at first there. No worries. Just like it sounds. I got you. Oh, you got it? Okay. Yep. <laughs>
Is this already the boss round? Yep. Wow. So watch the boss with fire. Usually what tank, most tanks do is pull them out to the center a little bit, but the fire she puts on the ground is really potent. Charging it. Okay, now everybody stops damaging the boss so much and kills the ads. Charging boss. Sorry, I kind of ran him. So, once you get the boss in the middle, usually you kite the mechanos around the room in the kind of a square. And then everybody who's killing the uh, mechanos has lots of room to see that flame that he puts on the ground to come at us. He does do some other hard damaging stuff, but that's the one that you've got to try to miss. And now me and Indigo try to burn and you grab everything as it comes up. All right, so um, this boss, there's for this uh, round, there's black circles in the ground. In normal mode, nobody wants to touch them and go down. It sucks you down into another spot. You got to kill a guy and come up. But in normal mode, there's no reason to go down. In veteran mode, you have to go down to release the uh, mini boss's shield because you can't hit him for nothing until you kill him down there. So like I say, try to avoid that. This is all undead pretty much. Um, the archers still hit for a lot and mages. There's mages that'll come out and they hit for quite a bit. Race um, The race, they do an ice thing on the ground. It's, the ice thing's good to avoid on the ground, but other than that, it, we usually burn them pretty quick. I have no idea what happened there. You looked bugged. Yeah, I was like, fucked. Like, it like put you in one spot and then it warped you into another. Yeah. That's what it looked like crazy. on my screen. I'm like, whoa, that's a cool spell. Yeah. <laughs> it's called lag. Lag for days.
Can you hear that guy in the he's background? Like, yeah, he's like, god darn it. <laughs> <laughs> he's watching people play Smash right now and he's betting on them. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> Smash Bros? Yeah. Yeah, that's a cool game. Oh man. So much ice. See me smash. <laughs> you just won't try. I've been asking you for like your code thingy. You won't give it to oh me. Oh my god, shut up. Oh I'm asking you. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nigo wants to see me in smash. I will destroy him, so I'm trying to. No, you will definitely destroy me. I'm terrible at smash. My friend Granite, though. You no. too. <laughs> yes, yeah, so a, a lot of games, chill. I like Pikachu. <laughs> oh. I actually just watched Pikachu um, Dual Mass and Pika 1. Level are you now? 22. Nice. People, I got like 0.3% for one old skill. And ooh, who went down? The tank. I'll get him. Oh no! We're playing the kite slash stay alive game. Hmm, the fun game. I wish I had a storm Get up knock. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna be another minute. Hold on. He to just it. fell in. Ah. Spamming my shield, but I did not have enough mana. <laughs> oh no. Oh, they're back. Oh! <laughs> it's... Dragon's blood! Oh. There was a lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would have done enough. Ooh. I tried to jump in, <laughs> and I didn't make it. It happens.
Whenever you guys want to walk in, I'm downstairs. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> so, we went in there and killed him, and he was in such a rush to pick everything up, he came straight out and ran into another one. <laughs> I was like, oh, I feel so sorry for him right now. That's usually my luck. <laughs> Uh, just a tip, Tor. Um, this guy, his big red circle, the boss, it does hurt quite a bit in uh, VET, so I know even some of the hard tanks, they just kind of run around with them a bit and watch their health bar. As their health bar gets low, they try to get away from them. <laughs> I didn't even see the boss go down. <laughs> Weird. Earn this precious gift. The chance to enter my final arena and face my finest champion. Do you need that tour? Yeah, I already have the other one too. Hey, this is the last boss. Yeah, pretty awesome. Good timing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having nightmares of this guy from the other night still. Oh Red god. Mode. We got here with 70 lives. And it was bugged. To hell. Are you serious? Yeah. We were so god. upset. Kept on resetting on us. The guy, like the boss would reset. Yeah, we almost had 80 lives, and yeah, we didn't kill him. So, fire on your feet, you'll summon, and we'll just 
throw it all on this island first, and then we'll throw it on to the next island that we just came from, and then the island that Soul Pointers are on over there. The counterclockwise. So yep. What happens, Tor, is every so often he springs fire up under our feet, everybody's, so all four of us, and we try not to stack them. So it's on our feet for a little while. We can move around and put it where we want. And um, we don't want to stack with other people, otherwise we take twice as much damage per second. Because the healer has to heal us through it, maybe not you. But um, then once the fire is done on your feet, it gets released onto the ground. So we usually try to pick an edge or somewhere somewhere near the lava, you know, you know what I mean? So that it's not right out in the center. So if you notice, there's like three quadrants here. I think three? Yeah, there's three. Um, so we kind of want to probably drop about two in each quadrant by the end of the game, or the end of the boss. He comes with phases of um, melee, so I guess, what can I tell you? He does two o AoEs too, and he does a bad Nova, so you gotta watch mm -hmm. out. The AoEs, I don't think you really had to move for, but melee DPS definitely does, especially in vet mode. But um, the ad part... He springs up and uh, a mage and a melee guy comes out, and uh, later on it's an archer and a melee. But anyways, I think you have to taunt the melee, and that's pretty much it. The other guy's just going to sit there anyways. In uh, vet mode, it's a lot more difficult, but hey. Anyways, you should watch the vet mode sometime before you consider doing it in it like on a video before you consider doing it with a group because it's really specific with the tank too for timing but anyways this boss yeah this he boss did this boss the rest of the instance you don't have to watch on that mode no it's pretty People much the explain it. same just a little bit extra and it doesn't involve you quite so much this boss does though so well, this time it's pretty much a tank and spank with a little bit of extra fire damage and a couple ads that pop up. Here, bud. Fire's on our feet. Just back away a little bit. We should try to keep him on this island for a bit, because we do have to hang on to him for a while. Yep, we're just on normal right now, so keep your fire on this island if you can. So there's a melee boss for you to pick up. Hey Tor.
move them slightly. Just stay where you are. It's all good. We'll move to the next. Hey, uh, Thor, you were rocking a staff there, buddy. <clears throat> Just stay here. Okay, now let's move to the next spot. Nova. Oops. <laughs> yeah, he stood there for a second, like, wait a minute. Yeah, I was like, melee, my shield's melee going mini bad. boss. You gotta try to pick him up, and we gotta hit the archer. Close to the wall. Mini Stay boss close. is loose. My bad. I should have not been in there. <laughs> I'm so used like to having wearing my plate. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so used to having my bubble up that I can like absorb all of that. <laughs> <Get away. laughs> you guys still doing DSA? Eh? Yeah, we're like about to finish. Knock on wood. Good flash. Ego? Huh? Don't you have class? 
It's, I have like, it's at six, but I need gotta leave soon. God. Woo! Awesome. You shall be my newest champions. Will you have now you get the title. Dragon Star Champion. Yeah. Except you gotta beat this massive dragon at the bottom, at the top of this. It's gonna be intense. Oh yeah. <laughs> so intense. Oh, I had so many people going. <laughs> really? Yeah. I've already done this one before, just not that. <laughs> I'm such a rotten person. Yeah, we haven't mastered it in vet. Yeah, I need to get my DPS a little bit higher for that. Nice. Tor, did you walk? Yep, yeah. okay. He's leg. Look at him. <laughs> I saw. He's stuck in one position. This is my third restro staff. Oh boy, where am I going to put this one? <laughs> it's not the awesome one. Did you grab the chest up here, Thor? Would you get an ego? Some um, archer's mind stuff. All right, I'm gonna head out now, guys. Thanks for the group. That was a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, thanks. Was. Thank you. User disconnected from your channel.